Congressman Billy Long made a stop in Springfield today to talk about the ongoing opioid crisis. He was part of a roundtable discussion about the impact in Springfield and what Congress has done with the issue. In October, President Trump signed the Support for Patients and Communities Act into law, and Cox Health got a $790,000 grant. Part of this visit was to see how that money could be implemented to help fight the opioid crisis. Congressman Long also spoke about keeping drug manufacturers accountable. You know, for years, they've people we've been led to believe that opioids are not addictive, which we all know that they are very addictive. And so uh, there, it's a, it's a multifaceted. It's not a, you know, one shot cures all or one pill cures all. It's a multifaceted approach we have taken in Washington. And Long went on to say that people in other states often take advantage of Missouri's lack of a drug registry. They come over here to get their drugs, and the other states like Oklahoma and Arkansas do have those prescription drug registries.